a lot of that happened. But, uh, you know, I was very upset the last time this nigga got caught doing some dumb ass shit. And no, I did not have his bag because, nigga, you did some dumb ass shit. But this time, I guess that I am going to defend him because I was with this nigga the whole time. And let me tell you something. I have court in a couple of days, right? And we've been talking about this court shit and this case for a hot minute. And we just cannot wait to be over. And it's more than just a court case to us because, you know, the person that that has the court case against me is dating a person that brought my name up well prosecutors that he's involved with brought my name up for no reason like i never met sakashi i never spoke to this person so for me and to my husband to see that my name is Bree bringing up for no reason we just avoid any type of trouble any type of trouble we avoid we avoid any type of trouble. We're not out here looking trouble. I'm not out here trying to look trouble for the with these women. I'm not. I don't know. I don't care, and I don't know what they're doing. We don't care what they're doing. We don't even discuss them. We just we just don't want that type of issue. Even when um, this guy mentioned my name in his court date, I wanted to say so much like, "Why me? Why am I getting brung up? I don't have nothing to do with this." But I didn't say anything. I just said, I just put a meme like, "I don't know that man," because I really just, I just don't know him, and it just had me thinking. It had my man thinking like, "Why out of anybody? Why out of everybody that claims to be gang in New York? Why out of this? Why, why, why you? Like th those are the type of talks that we had." So. When me and my husband have talked like this, like, why am I being targeted? Is it because I have an open case? When we try to stay away out of trouble, you really think a nigga's going to DM a girl that he haven't spoke to out of nowhere days, a couple of days before I have court and a court case that we've been talking about because, you know, he suggested my lawyers and everything. That is ridiculous. Like, and, and on top of that, like this woman hang out with people that don't fuck with me. Like, I know niggas is stupid, but niggas ain't fucking crazy. Niggas could be stupid, but niggas ain't crazy. And, um, and you know, my own lawyers are looking into this thing because I feel like, um, like this, this, it's not even, I feel like it's like th this guy is connected to my case. So it's like, it's crazy that it's like, if this wasn't connected, if this hacking thing wouldn't affect my case. We wouldn't even go as hard to investigate who it is, but we are going to. I mean, it's, it's happening. And all the truth will be coming out. And when court things come out, because it's just like ridiculous. And it's so crazy how I got slandered and eaten up because I was defending somebody that, no, it's not my boyfriend. It's not my baby daddy. It's my husband. It's somebody that, oh, yeah, and on top of that, we are closing on our fucking million dollars millions of dollar home this this month why would we even fuck it up we had a beautiful thanksgiving weekend having our best time of our life the the day the day that the hacking went on um and and i and my stomach i got i got i caught a stomach virus and he started getting the a cold we went we went um to do charity for cancers and we had a good time he was very emotional because every single time he does things for cancer, you know, he does it for his grandmother. And I like to be a part of that. I like my daughter to be a part of that. So it's like, why would you, you think that out of nowhere, niggas is going to hit somebody up that I got to deal with a crazy ass court case that I've been dealing with for like a year and a half. It's like, people, please, like, use your common sense. And it's like, I am going to defend somebody when I know they not doing nothing wrong. Now, the last time the nigga did something wrong... I was, I was like, no, fuck you, nigga. Like, you fucked up. But this time, yes, I'm going to have my niggas back. Because it is what it is. And everybody is on this shit. Because it's like, this could have gotten me in some crazy-ass trouble. The, the way that I could have responded, I could have gotten myself in some trouble. Like, we... We have been smooth sailing for such a hot minute. We got so much work in process. We having a house that we're closing on. We having business that we doing. Spending good time with each other. Having good conversation with each other. Having good sex with each other. Like it's like shit is crazy. And it came out of fucking nowhere. So everybody always like, oh, you was the Cardi is defending her man because she's embarrassed. I wouldn't defend a nigga if he's doing something wrong. My sister... My sister or my friend Star Brim, they wouldn't defend him. They would be the first people like, fuck you, nigga. I'm going to fuck you up. But 
niggas was right here. And that's why I'm going so hard. That's why we investigating as well. Because I feel like people's trying to fuck up with my... What's up? What, what's going on with Osuna? Oh, yay, my brother. That's my brother. Rest person to ever be cool with is a nigga like Osuna. That nigga treats you like y'all was raised together in Puerto Rico's and shit. Best person ever. So, yeah, that's why I'm going so hard, like... And not only me, it's just like, like, it's like, this is not, this is not just a, oh, they got hitting up with some girl that he has something going on. It's more than that. You know what I'm saying? This is not, this is involved with court shit. So that's why it's like, and it's crazy because as, as much as we uh, prove we got shit from internet we have, I mean, Instagram, Gmails, Twitters and shit. And as much as we show them, show people, like, it's like, look, this is what we're dealing with. People saying, oh, y'all going so hard to prove that y'all not guilty because y'all guilty. But if we don't prove nothing, we also guilty as well. So it's like, you damn if you do, you damn if you don't. And then it's just like, it's ridiculous. Like, it's ridiculous. And I'm not going to let my fans, listen, if you're a fan and if you don't agree with my, what I'm with the shit I'm doing, I don't give a fuck. I ain't sucking your dick and you're not the one that eat my pussy. You're not eating my pussy. Not eating my pussy. That's that. That's that. And you don't. So that's why I'm, I'm going to go. That's why I'm rocking really hard. And shit's going to be proven. Y'all see. And, and once it get proven legally and everything, still going to be wrong. Like always. It's the same shit when the Selena Powell shit happened. Everybody wanted him to have... Everybody was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was being, like, tormented. Oh, you know you know how tormenting and how terrible it was? Me being pregnant and then this woman that has been with so many different artists that lied about it. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm pregnant by this guy. And everybody's like, yeah, yeah, she's having a baby by him. Y'all going so crazy on me with y'all crazy ass comments. And then when it was proven that she wasn't, everybody still was like, well, yeah, well, he probably still fucked her. And it's like, shit is ridiculous. See how people will go so hard to try to believe a lie? And I'm not saying this nigga's an angel. I'm not saying this nigga's an angel. Because we know that this nigga... <laughs> This time, it's just like, bro, come on now. Shit is ridiculous. That's why I'm not even letting that shit affect me, all this bullshit. It's just like, I just really hate when these little bum-ass bitches that I know the type of shit that they nigga be doing and I know the type of pussy they be selling, be talking shit. It's like, ha, ha. I know a lot of bitches that they man be fucking men, but be in the comments and want to put their little commentary, man. Sit the fuck down. Sit the fuck down. Sit down. The fuck is you talking about? Like, this ain't my boyfriend. This ain't my baby daddy. None of that shit. And it's so sad. Like, it's so sad because it's like, imagine, like, imagine, like, doing your best to just stay away from social media. We be staying away from drama, social media all the time. Them boom, always gotta be some bullshit. Even if y'all don't even do nothing, it's like damn, we should just be on some Jay Z shit and not even have a social media. It's, it's like even when you're not on it, it's still some bullshit happen. But that's just how shit is. It don't even matter. Anyways, Nigeria is fucking lit. I wanna go out, but it's like it's eight fucking fifty five in the morning. And watch everybody come at me like, oh, here she go defending this. I don't give a fuck. You bitches be defending bitches that be fucking, fucking your man, fucking your fathers. Y'all be defending every motherfucking body. So I'm going to defend the people that I love. I'm going to be defending the people that I fuck with. Shit. I don't give a fuck. Shit. Um... 
I want to go back to that strip club again. Them bitches was lit. They was lit as fuck. They was lit. And they smell good. They smell good as fuck. I was on my gay shit today. Y'all know I, y'all know I love me some pussy. Y'all know I love pussy. Um, wish I could be sharing it though. I'm a nasty bitch. I'm a nasty ass bitch. I don't know. I can't help myself. Um, I'm nervous though about my show today because I haven't performed like in two, three months. And for some reason, my leg been acting up. One of my, well, this is what happened, right? I injured one of my knees and I never went to see the doctor. And from, and then like, a month later, my knees started feeling better, and but now it's just, like, acting up again. It's like, that's weird. I'm not even doing nothing crazy. Like, I mean, I be fucking wild crazy, but it's like I'm not flexing or nothing. And, you know what I'm saying? So I haven't performed. I haven't stretched out for how many. So it's like, and I know, like, this, this country has so much energy that it's like I want to give them 100% energy. Like, I don't want to, like, do a lackluster show. So I'm nervous about that shit. But I'm excited, though, because these people is just lit. The hospitality here is everything. And I don't feel because I'm just famous. It's not because I don't feel like people being nice to me because I'm famous or something. I just feel like people are just just a vibe. Like, this country's a vibe. This country's a vibe. I like it. I like it a lot. No sex. This is why I don't want to have sex right now. That's why I don't like drinking because I be wearing a fuck. Mm -hmm. I got to enjoy myself because after this, I'm going to studio jail. Right after this, I'm going to studio jail. Back to studio jail into Christmas. I got to do my Christmas shopping. I got to get like fucking... 20 motherfucking Barbie houses and shit. I don't know Barbie houses or LOL houses. I don't know what the fuck my my nieces want, but I got to do a lot of it before they run out of it. So, yes. Nigga said, why are you looking so young, sis? Because I was getting digged down all fucking Thanksgiving motherfucking weekend. Dig makes you young. It does. It does. It rejuvenates you. Damn, yo, my shit got so loose. You don't see it? Culture. Be fucking trying to pull on my shit. Oh, my baby's so bad, but she's so cute. Let me see if I can find a video of my daughter. So I can see it. Because I miss her. Let me see. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. I got to make sure. Because I got some, some nasty stuff here. So I'm going to make sure I put the right clip. My daughter be late. Yeah, I'm drunk. I want another beer. But then it's like I got a long day. Man, look at this cute video. I love this video. Culture. Hey, 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 hey,
Ei, 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 ei. She be vibing. My daughter, go. yo, my daughter, she got rhythm because I got no rhythm. All right, how to take it off? How to take it off?